Was George Washington a slave owner? So will George Washington now lose his status? Are we going to take down, excuse me, are we going to take down, are we going to take down statues to George Washington? How about Thomas Jefferson? What do you think of Thomas Jefferson? You like him? Okay, good. Are we going to take down the statue? Because he was a major slave owner. Remember that? President Trump predicting seven years ago, and everyone laughed, that an assault on our history, the desecration of our country's founding fathers, was inevitable if we were going to go down that road. Sadly, that thought of his has come true this week in New York City, where he's got a few towers, where the city council is advancing a plan that will remove any statue or monument of a person who owned slaves or benefited economically from slavery. And if the statue is spared, they're going to put a little explanatory plaque on there listing the misdeeds of that person, founding father or not. New York has more than a half dozen monuments just to George Washington. They're now on the chopping block, thanks to the council, our city council right here in New York. And this wouldn't be the first time they canceled a founding father. Back in 2021, they actually removed a statue of Thomas Jefferson from City Hall. It stood there for 187 years. But even as the city falters and is embarrassed by our history, one New York town is stepping up. Ed Romaine is the supervisor of Brookhaven of Long Island, and he's made an offer on behalf of his town to accept those monuments as the city considers getting rid of them. Ed, thanks for joining us. Why is what's bad for New York City, perhaps, good for Brookhaven? It's good for Brookhaven because it reminds us of our history. History is not something you can cancel out. History isn't something you can cover up. History is something you celebrate. George Washington was the founder of this country. He fought eight years in a long, long war to make sure we would have independence and then served and stepped up as our first president. Thomas Jefferson wrote a declaration of independence. Are you kidding me? We're going to ignore these people? We're going to cover them up? We're trying to put today's values on yesterday. They want to take down the statue of Christopher Columbus. He lived 520 years ago, and yet they want to go and superimpose their beliefs on what they think he should have done 520 years ago. They were great men for their times. They helped lay the foundation for our country. God bless them. We celebrate them. We welcome them their monuments. We will put Thomas Jefferson, who visited Brookhaven, we will put him at Port Jefferson. We put George Washington, who visited Brookhaven at Rowe Tavern, where he visited the Club for Spy Ring, which has been written about multiple times. And we will celebrate them as men like we all are. We all have imperfections, but they led. They found the foundation of this country. God bless them. We will celebrate them in Brookhaven, Long Island. Ed, you, you taught history. It matters a lot to you. You're a proud American. I see the the flag on your lapel, not by accident. Are you shocked that this war doesn't just happen at the city council, that it's happening in our history books, in our schools? I mean, we know so many of the kids now are learning to almost apologize for our past rather than celebrate it, if they learn at all. I know our history. I've taught our history in our public schools and in our colleges. I am proud of our history. We're not perfect. No one is. There is always imperfections. But let me tell you, the men that we're talking about were leaders. They stepped up when we needed them. When our liberties were in doubt, when our freedom was in doubt, they stepped up to the plate. They put their, their lives, their fortune, their fame on the line. I don't know any member of the city council that voted to cover these statues or to remove them and that has done such. So uh, if you wouldn't mind lending uh, Washington to Port Washington, that might continue your theme, but that would be Nassau County, and that's a little out of your uh, jurisdiction. But I think there's a lot of people who are outraged by this. In fact, I I see these Washington uh, statues everywhere. In the big picture, do you feel you might get some pushback uh, from people in your town that perhaps aren't as patriotic as you? I'm fortunate to represent a town with a lot of good uh, patriotic Americans. And while this is America, people are entitled to a different point of view, and I respect that. But as a leader, it's been elected five times as supervisor. This is my 38th year in elective office. I'm stepping up to the plate because I think it's important for the future of our country that we not go down the route 
of the city council. And keep in mind, around the country, they boxed up Teddy Roosevelt in the middle of a pandemic. The, uh, the, the Museum of Natural History, where he stood outside on a horse with an American Indian and African-American down there. They said that we don't want that, even though he and his family helped found the Museum of Natural History. I hope you don't have to take these statues. And I, on some level, do you hope you don't have to, too? Do you hope the city wises up? I hope I don't have to take these. You, Brian, you're so right. First of all, let me say thank you for all the books you've written. You're Wonderful. Welcome. Helps people stay interested in history. You do a great job. Thank you so much, Brian. But no, I hope I don't have to take these statues. I hope the city council and Mayor Adams comes to their senses and doesn't allow this to happen. Right. These are great Americans. Yes, they had flaws. Yes, they lived in different times. Yes, they had different standards. But we still celebrate their contribution yep. to the American experience.